Hey guys, Mark Galloway here. You've been waiting for it for quite some time now. So this is it. Mac and Cheetos. Being homemade DIY. Do it yourself. And so yeah, um, so this was a product that Burger King actually used uh, last year, two years ago, something like that. Maybe, it's, I think it was... Um, Spring or summer 2016. They had Mac and Cheetos for like a limited time and it received mixed reviews from people who tried it. Like there's some who said it was good and some who said it was not really too good. And but personally, I thought it was delicious and it was exactly cheesy. Since then, there has been people who've been trying to make it themselves, some who didn't do it right and some who did do it properly. So, anyways, for this video, we're going to be doing what I saw in all these videos. So in this video, we are going to be making homemade mac and Cheetos. So right here we have all of our ingredients for our mac and Cheetos. So right here what we have is the the, the shredded up mac, uh, shredded up Cheetos. Uh, but we took like a combination, like this is what I did before for the Super Bowl meal. Uh, we actually shredded cheese doodles. It wasn't a Cheeto, Cheetos product. It was actually puffy cheese doodles. But what is added in here is the crunchy extra hot flame in Cheetos. But even when that was cheese doodles with the puffies, it's still going to have all that flavor. And it's going to have all that cheesy mix in it to hopefully make the best uh, cheese uh, Cheetos flavor in it. So it should still be good. So you're gonna need um, puffy and um, crunchy Cheetos mixed together into this, so you can have everything set, have everything, have all these Cheetos stuff mixing for your Cheeto um, mac and Cheetos. You're gonna have to need at least two eggs for your um, egg wash. We also have flour. So what this, what you're because what you're gonna need to do is that. When you're what after you um, mold che your cheese, your mac and cheese, uh, what was it? Mac and Cheetos, <laughs> because like what you're gonna need to do is that when you when you after you um, mold your mac and Cheetos into any kind of shape you want after it's cold, you want to first put it into the flour and then you want to put it into the egg wash, and then after that you want to put it into the che Cheetos, freeze it again, and then fry them. So then after that, yeah. And we also have our Kraft mac and macaroni and cheese, creamy cheese. Um, we're not going to use two boxes of the noodles. I don't think, I don't think two, um, I think one box should be enough, I believe. But what we are going to use is um, two of these uh, cheesy flavor packs so we can add all that cheesy flavor in it. So we have our um, water boiling right now and we have our deep fryer being set up. So, but while, but while those are getting set up, let's get everything set. Okay, so um, I just made the mac and cheese. I did end up adding two boxes, but it's enough for what we can last on for the mac and Cheetos. So anyways, um, after you make your mac and Cheetos, you can either put it in the freezer to speed things up, but don't try not to leave them in there too long or else it's gonna end up frozen like a ice block or something. And you can also leave it in the fridge, but you would have to leave it in there like overnight. So it's optional for you to do the freezer if you want to just to speed things up. Anyways, for this, for the deep fryer, Move the camera a little bit. For this deep fryer, leave it on, and you want to put it on a temperature for about 250. So, but it's hard to tell that it's 250. So we're putting it on 265. So for that, we're gonna do two minutes of baking when you put your stuff in here. So we're gonna add our oil. Remember, add it to the max. This is the, the last of the peanut oil. This is vegetable oil. I don't know if this is gonna do any, I'm not trying to mix the flavor in or anything, but the, just didn't go up all the way to the max. All right, I'm gonna make sure that is the max. 
but leave it in there and then just wait until it's hot and when the light says it's ready. But we're going to keep waiting until our mac, mac, and, cheese, mac and cheese is done. But if this does get hot relatively quickly, we're going to turn it off for the moment and then we'll turn it back on after we get everything all set up. Okay, so now we have our mac and cheese all cold. So what we're going to do is that we're going to take them from this tray and we're going to put them into a few different, uh, maybe about two or three different shapes. For one, we're going to do like a ball. And for two, we're going to do like the signature mac and Cheetos look. And then like, actually it's probably going to be two. I can't really think of a different shape. But actually, here we go. Or maybe we could do a block. Okay, so, so take your mac and cheese. Uh, it's a little hard. All right, there's going to be some of the mac and cheese that's not frozen enough. So take some in, squish it together. This, this, this is what's going to help put it all in. But again, we're going to freeze it after it's all coated. Hold on, I might have messed up here. Let's turn the camera off. Okay, so the mac and cheese was not that stiff enough. The corners though were getting frozen solid. So this is the best we're gonna do at the moment. All right, so let's start putting them in shapes. Okay, first here comes our ball. It's also recommended that if you wanna add more cheese, if you're kind of by melting some and putting them in milk and something, you can go ahead. But I just like to do in the average mac and cheese like this. You can also have them homemade if you want to. But still, this is what I like to do. So this is our ball. Put that there. So we're just going to keep doing these to every single one until we're all done. You can do whatever you, you can do the best you can to make it into a straight up, um, I don't know, straight line or something. But still, just do the best you can. And if it doesn't come out perfectly, it's still going to be a good one. My hands are really cold, but it's still pretty good. Well, it's worth it. You just have to make sure they're frozen solid so you can, well, do what you can to make it into a good one. Okay, so the mac and cheese was starting to not get too frozen again, so I was only able to make eight mac and cheetos. So here's what we're gonna do first. Take one of your mac and cheetos and first put it into the flour. So then put this all in there. It's starting to not get it, it's so much thick. And then put it into the egg wash. Doing it with two hands. And then we're gonna put it into the Cheetos. All right, I should probably fix that. I might have made a mistake there. And then after you do that, just put it back onto the tray and then we're gonna freeze it back up. It's falling apart a little bit. So they're gonna start to fall apart a little bit. But, okay, so I might have made a mistake here. So, like, after you make it shape, freeze them again, and then you put them back in. Well, actually, I might have mis mispronunciation what I did. After you make it shape, put it back into the freezer, and then after that, 
then you can put in all the stuff, it's going to make it stick more, and then you can put it into the fryer. So I'll be right back after I, make, after I fix my mistake. Okay, so our first batch is actually done, but so this time we're going to restart. So after you make them into the shape, just make, just put them in the freezer for a good timing as possible. We're going to put the messed up mac and cheeto already in there. And not that I'm not all there, but I just slipped up and I forgot what it was supposed to go like. Alright, so anyways, take your mac and cheeto and put it into the egg wash. Make sure you don't leave a trail of it behind. Well, try your best not to. And then you put it right into the flour. You gotta coat it all up. And then afterwards, we're gonna put it into the, into the Cheetos. Or, oh, actually, I slipped up on this one, too. Let's put it back into the egg wash. Sorry, guys. I feel like I'm doing, I feel like David Parody right now. So, into the egg wash. And into the Cheetos. And then we put it into the oil. Alright. So, let's do it this time. But this time I know what I'm doing. First, put it into the flour. After that, put it into the egg wash. Then the Cheetos. I'm not sure if I'm still doing it right, but I'm doing it the best I can do. Alright, I'm just going to do it to a couple more of the Cheetos in a little bit. Right now I'm just going to turn this camera off. And then I'm just, we're going to... Okay, first we're going to test the, these three, and then we're going to see how they're going to come out. So I'll be back in a moment. So here goes in our first batch. Didn't add in enough oil, apparently. Put it up a little higher. The, the light set it was ready. So I don't think it was ready completely. Let's get a little bit of a close-up. Right, in the meantime, I'll try to get the others ready. Okay, let's see how these uh, Mac and Cheetos came out. Okay, so they look good. These were probably a little bit too big. So, um, we're gonna let these cool down a little bit. We're gonna put them on through the, um, we're gonna take them out of the cage and then we're gonna taste test them and see how they came out. We still have a couple more to go. Okay, so here is our first batch. All right, so I didn't leave them in there too long, unfortunately, but this is the one that has like the most cheese stick. That This one seems to be the most cheesy. It's falling apart, so leave them in there a little longer or else it's going to fall apart just like this. This one I might have not done right, or one of the ones I probably didn't do right, but it's still stuck together. So now we're going to have a taste test on all three of these and see how they came out. Okay, so here's the half, here's the one that I, here's the first one that I tried but failed on. Hmm. Mm. Oh, hot. It doesn't really have much of the taste in it. Alright, so here's the... This is the one with the cheesiest. Let's see how this one came out. Mmm. I mean, that's pretty good. Cold. But it does, it does taste a little bit like a mac and cheeto, but just not really too much. But, mm. All right, now here is my third one, apparently. Mmm. Oh, really soft. Mmm. This also came out good. All right. 
We're gonna make another batch and we're gonna try leaving in there for about another couple minutes. I'll be right back. Okay, now we're about to put in our second batch. This is the one I just set up with uh, egg, with uh, flour, egg wash, and Cheetos. These two, I just did the egg wash and the Cheetos. So let's see how these two come out. And again, I'm gonna leave these in one a little bit more. So for the, so if there's anything sticking out, what you can do is that you can just splash as much oil on them as possible. Like this. So we're going to leave them in there for about three or four minutes and then we'll see how these ones come out and you probably didn't get a good shot of them either, I'm sorry, but um, either way let's see how these ones come out. And don't worry, I am going to clean up the mess in the kitchen. Alright, now let's see how these came out. They look a lot more crispy. Alright, so now we're going to let these uh, soak off a little bit, cool off for about a minute and then we'll see what the outcome is for these Mac and Cheetos attempt. So far they look good. I'll give you a little close up. They do look, this one looks, they do look perfectly orange. Except for, well, those two. They just come, came off a little bit. Anyways, I'll stay tuned and we'll see what happens in about, see what the outcome is. Okay, so here they are on the plate. So it's not going to have much of a gooey look on the mac and cheese as like the, one of the last takes. So so we're going to have another test, but we're going to have another test taste and see what happens. And remember, it's on what the taste that looks. I know you're about. I know you're probably thinking, it's um not on when the outside that counts. I don't know. I have the I have that twisted. It. But anyways, enough Gavin. All right, let's try, try a little piece first. Hmm. All right, we're getting to somewhere a little bit. I don't have much of the Cheetos or the mac and cheese in it, but that did come out pretty good. Let's try, let's try one without ketchup. Here's the second piece. Mmm. Oh, there's all that gooey in there. I was gonna, I was trying to say that has the gooey look inside of it. So anyways, let's not, let's not try to get a corner piece right here. Mmm. Oh, now it's looking a lot. Now it looks pretty good. Alright. Alright, got a little bit of uh, Cheetos right there. So yeah, most of the Cheetos have mac milk to have like gotten away. So we have another piece to go. Hmm. That's also pretty good. All right, so yeah, um, I'm not getting much of the mac and Cheetos or the I'm not getting much of the outcome. Like, like, I don't know how other people like get the per the best outcome they can get. I did try my best. They did come out pretty good, but not a hundred percent. A lot of people are trying this like after BK. Couldn't sell them anymore. Well, it's only because it was for a limited time. So, um, we're gonna try one more pat batch and then probably put in, um, maybe I'll put in a little bit more Cheetos in it and then that's gonna be the end of the video. So, we're gonna do one more and then one more batch and then we're gonna see how it's gonna go. Hey guys, so I had second thoughts about after what about what I just said about having another batch ready. Unfortunately, I decided maybe I should stop right there. Because I felt, I feel like it's gonna come out as the exact same results. But I did try what I could on this mac and cheese, um, mac and Cheetos do it yourself or something like Burger King and like people trying to do it. I did try my best, but I didn't really get much of the mac and Cheetos. They were pretty good, but not really the same as mac and Cheetos when you buy it, buy it at Burger King. So, anyways, um, on the so, but when we come back to the kitchen. We are going to start to get a little bit more serious again, which I do promise. And also, um, there might be some special stuff 
just to look out not only on my other channel Lego Fan 506 but on this channel as well so there is going to be more stuff besides cooking but first of all when I get back in the kitchen I'm, I am going to promise we are going to start to get a little bit more serious so it might not be cooking always it might be a smoothie it could be a breakfast could be anything so anyways guys um I don't know if you enjoyed this video or not but if you but if you did hope you give it a like up um thumbs up hopefully share and share this channel on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and um, and then like, comment, subscribe, <laughs> and that's just about it. So this is this has been a Mark Galloway production on this video. So, anyways, might not been a might not have been my best video, but I tried anyway. But we are gonna get serious when we get back to the kitchen. But there is gonna be more stuff on and on and on and off and such like that when we get back here. So I'll see you guys later. I have some cleaning up to do. So I'll see you guys later. So this was Mark Galloway signing out.